Red Eye 2005 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Red Eye from 2005. Now, uh, I did see this movie when it first came out. I think it came out alongside Flight Plan. They're like these thrillers that take place on planes. And uh, to be honest, I don't remember what happens in Flight Plan either, but everyone seemed to like Flight Plan a little better. I don't remember anything about Red Eye, not one thing. I remember liking it, I watched it, I liked it, filed it away in my brain that I liked it. Don't remember anything about it like not one thing about it so i was like you know i think it was directed by wes craven who's done just millions of horror movies and then it's got cillian murphy from peaky blinders in here totally had to check that out and then rachel mcadams i've always liked her she can do some um she can play a lot of different roles so i was interested to see what she's doing here the main gist of this movie is it's just kind of like a classic action thriller i wouldn't even say it's really too much of a horror movie um wes craven is an older dude by this point it it feels like like an 80s to 90s style really simple action movie like all the characters you've seen a million times you know all the villains are clear cuts there's not really too much that's risked there's not really too many good things that are lost you know what i mean it's just a very simple cut and paste kind of movie but there's times where that's good you know when i, I was watching this movie i was kind of like dipping a toe in to see if it was interesting and then i picked up on that old classic action style vibe and although it's a little simple you kind of just know how it's going to play out it's just so refreshing refreshing to watch, you know? And it's weird because I feel like the whole theme of the movie is just a little bit older. It's a couple of generations older, but the shots and the music by Wes Craven was pretty solid. Again, it's like, it's like the theme of like a PG-13, somewhat vanilla like 90s action thriller again that makes it really easy to watch but for some people who are watching want to watch something new they want to see characters they haven't seen before it's not really as much in here um, i feel like he could have probably pushed a little bit more out of cillian murphy and rachel mcadams but at the same time it's not really a movie i guess where I don't know, it's that deep or that dark. Everyone's just kind of like a slightly like a surface level character. But not to say the acting was bad, I just think it was overall just a little bit more of a, you know, less intense style movie. Like there was a time when Rachel McAdams was getting like attacked and she seemed very kind of like PG-13, but I've seen Rachel McAdams look just completely freaked out and just yelling in other movies. So I'm like, I know she has notches higher than this but I feel like that's not really needed in this movie because it's just so easy to watch, you know what I mean? As far as the plot, I see why I didn't remember the plot from so long ago because, I mean, there's barely any plot. Like Cillian Murphy boards a plane with Rachel McAdams and then Cillian Murphy has a guy outside of Rachel McAdams' dad's house. He basically threatens Rachel McAdams, you do what I want or else I'll kill your dad. And like what he wants her to do is to move some people into a different room so he can assassinate them. Very simple, you know what I mean? But it's, I don't know. I feel like it's just not really flushed out. Like there's no real, you don't know what agency he's working for. You don't really understand the motives. I don't know, there's just not that much story to it. Again, it's just an easy to throw on action movie. That's what it's designed to be. Um, another thing here is I wish we had a little bit more stuff or time on the plane. I think we get on the plane about 15 minutes. And this movie was really short. I think it was like an hour and 20 minutes. And I think like we had a good 20 to 30 minutes after the plane. I feel like the scenes after the plane were just very generic. And the whole theme of the movie is like a red eye flight. I wish they had done a little bit more with it. Um, they do do a couple things of her trying to let passengers know or her trying to basically get out of the situation. But it's like immediately thwarted. Like she goes and tries something like, oh, maybe that would work. And then it's just like, boom, before it even has a chance to breathe, it's completely shut down and nobody on the plane knows anything, you know what I mean? So I just wish they had some more out of the box ideas for her to try to escape or maybe fight him on the plane. And then another thing I didn't really like about this movie is that they don't really establish, you know, a lot of characters on the plane. When you think of like a disaster movie or even a plane movie or like Con Air, or like all these, there's maybe like eight to 10 personalities on the plane that you get to know and they have their own kind of side stories like, oh, my son's sick or I have to go here. You know, there's a bunch of other stuff going on and they really don't develop any characters on the plane. I mean, they had like some guys listening to music where they steal his pen or some like old lady has a book and, and she goes and steals the book, but they just don't really develop any characters on the plane. And I feel like that would have been 
a very big plus for this movie. And it was hilarious to watch Cillian Murphy with this accent because I've been watching him on Peaky Blinders and it's funny because he's, he's naturally Irish and then on Peaky Blinders he speaks kind of like British, like UK. And then in this movie he tries to talk like an American and he does talk like an American but it's just so weird hearing him talk like that. It's just like please bring back the old Cillian Murphy where you have your accent you just sound so much better. But anyways guys this movie was very very simple, very easy to watch. If you want something relaxing, kind of just just don't have to be pushed to the edge just want something to put on something easy to watch something pretty enjoyable i definitely recommend it i think it was pg-13 too and it just doesn't even have like a emotionally pushing message too so i think almost anybody could watch this is very easy to watch buy try or pass i would say try but you kind of know yourself are you somebody who you know likes these kind of 80 90s action movies are you somebody who's like oh my god that's boring i need this really thoughtful piece that i've never seen before that pushes my brain to new areas I've never thought about. You know if you're that person or not, so you know right away, is this movie for me or is this movie not? So if I was gonna give it a rating, I'd give it a solid seven out of 10. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.